Welcome to the BizSmart Folksonomy walkthrough. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the tool and maybe get an idea of why it can be useful for. So Folksonomy is used to analyze natural text documents to find information you want. We're going to use an example from the medical field. So we're going to imagine that we have a doctor who's looking to see if for a group of patients a specific treatment has been applied. In this case, he's looking for an antiplatelet treatment. So he goes to his search. He checks out his documents. He selects documents that do contain, for the treatment field, this type of antiplatelet he's looking for, which has a specific name. Yeah, there he goes. And now he clicks search. In the search results, he gets a complete list of all the cases where the antiplatelet treatment has been applied. But he thinks eight cases maybe isn't enough. He thinks maybe his data set is missing something. So he can now at this point go to his data lists and see all the tags which are from his entire data set. What kinds of other treatments might have been applied? So now he's, he can look through, he can look through all his treatment options and he can see, ah, this is another type of antiplatelet, but I didn't think to look for that one. Yeah, and there's another one. What he can do now is he can go to his tag manager and he can create a whitelist. So what he's going to create here is a whole group for just antiplatelet treatments. He's going to call it antiplatelet and add the new tag to the list. Yeah, he clicks execute folksonomy to save. And now he goes back in his tag list. What he's going to do now is to start adding tags to this new antiplatelet group. So here he can, he can tell the system that this is an antiplatelet, so is this, so is this. So he's going to add a couple to this new category he's creating. Yeah. He can add a few different kinds, as many as he likes. And now let's go back to his search results and see what's going to happen. So now he does the same thing. He searches for, uh, for a query that contains uh, the antiplatelet group and the treatment. And he clicks search. And now he has a much more complete list of all the patients. Um, and you can see that maybe, um, <clears throat> you can see this is a really powerful tool for the doctor because it allows him to have a more complete picture of what's going on in his data, he can really understand, are the patients with this condition receiving the appropriate treatment? And he can pull lots of information from his data set really quickly. Uh, another useful tool that Folksonomy has is the graphic visualization. So um, this gives you a tool to better see the relationships that are between different uh, elements in your data set. So we can see here that this gives the doctor a visual representation of treatment options and how they're related to each other. Uh, you can also add another layer of complexity. So maybe this doctor not only wants to see a, if, what a certain patient's diagnosis is, if they've received the correct treatment, but he may also want to see if they've had a, a certain follow-up test conducted. So here he can go back to his search and he can now add layers of complexity. He can look for the specific diagnosis and if the test has been carried out. Yeah, so search that contains field diagnostic. And here he's added his antiplatelet treatment, and he can add a third filter, which is the test. So he wants to look for a specific kind of test to see if these patients are receiving it. Yeah, so he clicks search, and now he has a complete picture of these patients that specifically have suffered this, this specific condition, have received a specific treatment, and have also had this test. So this is a really powerful tool to really help the doctor analyze what's happening with his patients.